Welcome to the Glyshore System training video. This is a brief guide for a qualified user to get started with the system, comprising of monitor, sensor and CVC. For detailed information, please refer to the Glyshore Continuous Intravascular Glucose Monitoring System instructions for use. Central Venous Catheter, CVC, Insertion and Fixation. The Glyshore CVC must be inserted into the right internal jugular vein in accordance with approved hospital protocol and Glyshore instructions for use. Ensure the CVC is fully inserted up to the rubberized blue hub and the printed side is visible before suturing. Secure the CVC to the patient using a suitable dressing such as the 3M Tegaderm IV Advanced Dressing. Caution. Prepare the skin according to approved hospital protocol for dressing application. For more details, refer to the manufacturer's instructions for use. Use an additional strip of adhesive tape to stabilise the four medication extension lines, not the 16 gauge Glyshore blue sensor line. Flush setup. Establish a continuous normal saline infusion delivering 2 to 4 millilitres an hour. Flush the blue sensor lumen with a 5 to 10 millilitre bolus of saline. Connect the 2 to 4 milliliter per hour saline infusion line to the blue sensor lumen to maintain line patency. Calibration. Power the monitor on using the switch on the back. The monitor will boot and display the startup screen. Completion of the system startup prompts the connect sensor screen. Remove the sensor with calibration pod from the sterile pack. Connect the monitor cable to the sensor. Connection of the sensor prompts the Insert Calibrator screen. Ensuring the groove is uppermost, gently insert the calibration pod into the monitor. Caution! Do not disconnect the two halves of the sensor monitor connectors during calibration. A temperature check will automatically be initiated. Completion of the temperature check will prompt the Start Calibration screen. Press the Calibrate button to start calibration before the time indicated at the top of the screen. Successful completion of calibration will be displayed on the Calibration Complete screen. Sensor Insertion. When ready to insert the sensor, Remove the calibration pod from the monitor. Remove and discard the clip. Holding the rigid blue moulding, gently retract the sensor until the shoulder on the black tube is no longer visible. Disconnect the sensor from the calibration pod. Remove the saline infusion line from the blue sensor lumen and cap the lumen. Attach the saline infusion line to the sensor Y site and purge the air. Flush the blue sensor lumen with a 5 to 10 milliliter bolus of saline. Connect the sensor to the blue sensor lumen and establish a fast flush. Approximately 2 to 5 milliliters per minute for 30 to 60 seconds. Re-establish a keep vein open rate of 2 to 4 milliliters per hour. Holding the rigid blue molding Slowly and consistently, over approximately 30 seconds, advance the inner black tube into the outer clear tube until it has made an audible click. Sensor fixation. Caution. Secure fixation of the Glyshore sensor to the patient is critical to ensure optimum performance of the sensor. Failure to secure the sensor may result in an unnecessary period of sensor instability. Using the recommended fixation device, GripLock 3300M, 
secure the introducer tubing to the patient. Caution, prepare the skin according to approved hospital protocol for dressing application. For more details, refer to the manufacturer's instructions for use. Apply the first grip lock just below the Y site in a manner that does not put strain upon the sensor introducer and catheter connection, does not bend the sensor beyond a minimum bend diameter of 40 millimeters, and does not interfere with nursing care. A second grip lock should be positioned behind the connector on the patient cable. The sensor is now ready to commence monitoring. Press the sensor inserted button and then the start monitoring button to start continuous glucose monitoring. Blood sampling. Caution, never use bedside glucometers to analyze correlation samples. The system will prompt for a blood sample to be taken. Press the sample button to confirm that the sample is about to be taken. Press the green tick immediately before or immediately after the sample is taken. Once the sample is analyzed, input the result into the monitor by using the scroll buttons and press the green tick to enter. Caution. Ensure the same analyzer is used each time. Press the next green tick to confirm the time the sample was taken and the glucose result. Sensor withdrawal. Release the sensor and monitor cables from the grip locks and remove the dressings from the patient. Disconnect the sensor from the monitor cable. When the disconnect alert screen is displayed, press the end monitoring button and press it again to confirm. Loosen the lure lock and slowly withdraw the sensor from the CVC and cap the lumen. The process is now complete. You may power off the Glyshore monitor. Thank you for watching the Glyshore system training video.